Now, let's talk about what project management is. <clears throat> you may have seen job listings for a project manager or maybe even report to someone whose job title is project manager or program manager. Uh, project management is the way a person organizes the resources necessary to complete a project. Typically, project management involves these responsibilities, uh, identifying work, planning it out, communicating with a team member and stakeholders, uh, keeping things moving smoothly, delivering projects on time, and delivering projects within a set budget. But you don't have to be a professional project manager to use these steps. Anyone can use this process to make projects run more smoothly. From a birthday party to a yard sale, from a community fundraiser to a business conference. Some other kinds of projects you might manage uh, include uh, maybe you have a health or fitness plan, home improvements, childcare, product launches, job hunts, research, and event planning. You may already manage these kinds of projects before uh, with or without digital tools. First, let's talk about planning a project. A good project manager begins with project goals uh, or an objective, right? No matter what kind of project you're working on, you can make it go smoothly by getting an idea of what your ideal project will look like uh, when it's finished. To organize all these thoughts and ideas for your, about your project, you can create a project proposal. A project proposal is a single document you can use to lay out the vision, aims, and motivations for a project. Uh, the image on the right shows a sample project proposal for a farm-to-table restaurant called Batch. Project proposals are useful for reminding yourself of what you need to get done, just as important why you want to do it. The image on the right shows a Google Doc page with a completed project plan template. You can use a document like this to make sure you and any collaborators on, are, are on the same page. You can share it with a partner you're working with, for example, or even with a potential investor. You can write these out yourself in a format that you like, or you can use a template to design and coordinate your project goals, uh, as well as your milestones, your deadlines, uh, and even work with your collaborators. Like we said before, Google Docs provide templates that will get you started with planning your project. Uh, the image on the right shows a user creating a new project proposal from a template in Google Docs. <clears throat> a template is a sample document uh, or other project that already has some of the formatting in place. Templates save us time and help your documents to look more professional. Google Docs has a whole template gallery, including several project proposal templates. If you'd like, you can explore these templates on your own. Uh, this image uh, will show you how to open a project proposal template. Uh, first thing you would do is click New, uh, and then from there, you would select Google Docs and from a template. Next, scroll down to the Work, temp um, work Templates and choose one of the project proposal templates by clicking it. Uh, so let's look at the major components of a project plan together. Uh, for almost any project, you begin by providing an overview. Uh, this section should define what you want to do. Uh, it should be as specific as possible and should clearly explain the purpose of your project. All right, so once you've had the name of your project uh, and an overview of what you want to do, you can ask yourself, what are the goals of the project? Instead of thinking of one huge task like planning a wedding or designing a new product, you can use goals to break down your project to remember why you want to do it. For example, if you're starting a restaurant, one goal might be to make fine dining accessible to more people. Uh, you might want to offer a place uh, for people to gather with their friends and family. Uh, let's say if you're looking to start a hair salon, one goal might be to help people feel more confident about themselves. Or another goal might be to create a new hairstyle trend. Uh, if you're a musician, you're making an album, one goal might be to write a new kind of song you've never written before. Another goal would be to collaborate with an artist that you admire. These goals are not the same as tasks though, right? For example, a, a goal of your project is not to send an email to the landlord of your of your hair salon. Uh, we'll get to tasks in a moment, uh, but when we start thinking about how to track your project over the long term. Uh, but for now, think of your goals as part of the motivation for taking on your project. Uh, next, you wanna add specifications to explain the parameters for your project. For example, how many people does it evolve? Where will the project take place? When you have your goals in mind, you can start to plan out 
milestones. Uh, a milestone is a significant event that marks progress towards an overall goal. Milestones are a great way to keep your project on track. Uh, you can set these milestones to evaluate the progress, share your results uh, with other people, engage whether you need to make any changes as you complete your project. Uh, for example, if you're starting a hair salon uh, and one goal is to help people feel more confident, one milestone might be to find uh, a space that's warm and welcoming. Or a later milestone might be to eventually get a thank you note from one of your clients. Let's take the album example, right? If you're making your own album, one goal uh, you know, is to collaborate with another artist you admire, right? One milestone might be writing a recording of a song with that person. Planning a good project is the first part of making it successful. A project plan helps you to cover the big picture uh, topics uh, and identify those end goals. You might share this plan with your team, stakeholders, and investors. But now we're gonna focus on the second phase of project management, which is tracking progress. To track progress, you have to consider uh, these two things. What are the tasks that need to get done? Um, by when they need to get done, and of course, who is in charge of those tasks. To keep track of all this, most project managers use a project tracker. <clears throat> this slide shows a completed project tracker in a spreadsheet. The main purpose of a tracker is to shift from the big picture of a project plan, uh, outline of the purpose, resources, and people to the actual tasks and requirements of accomplishing the project. You might have already set goals uh, in your project proposal to identify your objective or the result you want to get from your project. Uh, it can help you work towards your goals by breaking them down into manageable tasks. Most projects have a lot of tasks to track. You might set up a spreadsheet differently from one project to the next, uh, but most projects have some basic elements you might want to track. Like we said before, tasks, who's responsible for those tasks, and the due dates. Just like you saw uh, with the project plan, there are lots of spreadsheets that, you, that can help you to track the details involved in the project. Uh, this slide shows Google Galleries uh, sheets um, and the, the, the actual templates available for you. With the project tracker, we started with a document template. Uh, there are lots of spreadsheet templates for project management as well. To look at the templates available for project management, you want to navigate to the template gallery in Google Sheets. Uh, the images on this slide show the steps for opening a new project management template. Starting at your drive, you create a new Google Sheet and then choose a new template. And here's how you do this. <clears throat> so first you click new, right? And, and then you click Google Sheets from a template. And then you scroll down until you see the project management templates. The image on this slide shows an event marketing timeline template. You might use this spreadsheet to manage a project that involves a lot of marketing or public facing tasks. Uh, you can track social media posts, market research, uh, and types of advertising using the categories built right into the template. Uh, and the spreadsheet includes a visual representation of different phases so you can time your marketing properly. You can use the template to track which social media ads were most useful or to coordinate content across multiple platforms. If you want to track an entire project like a product launch, you might use this spreadsheet <clears throat> called Project Timeline. The image on the slide shows a project timeline template. Uh, like the previous template, it includes a visual timeline, which you can, you, you can see on the right. Uh, and it includes sections that lay out the life cycle of a product launch timeline. This one allows you to build in project, you know, in the project plan as part of the whole process. Uh, and it gives you some structure for the project, uh, even reminding you to do a post-mortem debriefing to discuss how the whole thing went. For projects that are more focused on budgets and data, uh, you can use a project tracking spreadsheet like the one shown on this slide. Uh, it includes columns for estimated costs and time. Uh, and it has a built-in column for tracking uh, a task priority with useful drop-down lists. You can use the features in this spreadsheet like formulas for hours and budgets spent to track your spending on the project. Finally, uh, Gantt chart, uh, like the one uh, in the Gantt chart template displayed on this slide, combines many of these elements. A Gantt chart is a tool that organizes tasks by date. 
uh, and Gantt charts are useful for showing the relationship between the many moving parts of a project. This one also shows different owners. Uh, it can help you to manage a project with multiple collaborators. <clears throat> Notice that this one includes formatting like uh, color code in the middle. These cells uh, that change color based on how far along a project is. A completed task is bright green, but uh, in progress ones are lighter. So you can immediately see how much progress you've made on a particular task. All right, so we've addressed the first two parts of project management. Uh, how to plan a project from its outset and then how to track it if you're working on it. Uh, but you also may be managing other people and you might need to share your results with stakeholders and investors too. Sharing starts when the project starts. Working with your team to develop the project objectives, uh, the project goals and milestones, help them to feel more invested in the process. Uh, and of course, they can give you great ideas along the way. Uh, when team members help to create tasks and deadlines, they'll be more likely to give input in the process. Uh, they'll feel ownership over it and be more responsible uh, for completing those tasks. Even if you develop a project plan uh, and inside the task on your own, it's still important to communicate with your team regularly. Uh, digital collaboration is an easy thing to do with Google Docs or even in sheets or slides. Uh, in this last section of the workshop, we'll take a look at how to share doc a document or a spreadsheet uh, and how to share feedback quickly using comments. So to start collaborating digitally with your team, give them access to important files. You can share any Google document, spreadsheet, or presentation with other people, uh, and you can choose how much they can do with it. <clears throat> this slide shows how to share a project tracker with a teammate. Uh, so first you would click share in the upper right hand corner, uh, then type that person's email address. If you want them to only see the progress uh, of that project, you might give them viewer access. Uh, investors and stakeholders may only need to be able to see and add comments, so you give them comment only access. Uh, if you want a teammate to update the sheet with their progress, they may need edit access. When you share the document, you and your team can collaborate digitally at the same time on your project. Uh, they can open a spreadsheet uh, on their own computer or device, and you can also simultaneously make edits from anywhere in the world. Using comments in a project tracker is another way to give your team input on the overall goal. The animation on the right shows the user selecting a cell in the spreadsheet tracker. Uh, they insert a comment, type a short message, uh, and mention the teammate. They then assign the comment to that teammate. <clears throat> to add a comment, uh, you select a place where you want the comments to appear. Uh, and then you, of course, type in those comments. Uh, if you want to direct your comment or question directly to a team member, you can plus them in by adding a plus sign before their name uh, and then typing in the comment. Uh, if you want to turn the comment uh, into an action item, you can click on assign to assign that comment to that team member. Uh, you can also use this feature in other Google Apps, you know, like Docs, to work collaboratively with big groups of people. Uh, you can communicate regularly with teams uh, to unblock them to make sure they're not hung up on a particular challenge uh, and to let them know of any changes on the project goals or its processes. Checking in with your team, uh, even if it's briefly, it can help you to anticipate any possible challenges and adjust your schedule accordingly. So the image on this slide shows a completed spreadsheet tracker in Google Sheets. Uh, as your project grows, the spreadsheet will too. You can use this tracker as a hub for your own planning uh, and your team can access it so they can communicate and track multiple tasks. You may also find that your goals, objectives, and milestones change as a project progresses. You can update your digital project plan anytime and from any device to keep it current and complete. Take care, everybody.